25 in Gleason, 23 in Boulder Junction, and 25 in Antigo. A light southerly wind developing. 27 in Wisconsin Rapids and in Nielsville. So great conditions once again. That's what our future track shows. And it also shows a little bit of snow moving out of the mountain states here. That's a weak trough of low pressure that is going to move into the plain states here overnight tonight and toward our area for tomorrow. But notice as it does get closer, we're not going to see too much snow. The main energy with the storm is going to stay a little bit farther south, so we could see some patchy snow or flurries tomorrow, but for the most part, don't expect too much accumulation and it will still be cloudy for your Friday. If we're lucky as we go into Saturday, maybe we'll see a few breaks in those clouds in the morning on Saturday. There could be some flurries with cloudy skies, but out to the west, a, a little bit drier air and that could move in later Saturday and help warm things up on Saturday and Sunday. 26 for your high today. With that light south wind, not much change from yesterday. And then down to 24 tonight, still some scattered flurries. And tomorrow, that light snow here and there might be a dusting or a half inch accumulation. A high of 30, so just a touch milder with that south wind continuing. 34 on Saturday. Good day, a good winter day, I should say, and especially in the afternoon. If the clouds break up a little bit, it'll feel a little bit milder. Good for the uh, polar plunge down in Wisconsin Rapids this weekend. And then Sunday, 40 for your high with a mix of sun and clouds. That'll be the warmest day. Then an Arctic cold front is going to move through the area here on Monday. Start to cool things down, but you won't really feel the cold air until Tuesday. And that's when we'll have a slight chance of snow. A high of only 19 and again below normal on Wednesday. Now, 